Oops, Sean. Um, I just wanted to ask you, uh, given comments by Keir Starmer in Britain, how do you and how does this government define a woman? Oh. Um, <laughs> I, to be honest, Sean, that's, that, that question's come slightly out of left field for, for me. Um, the... Well, biology, sex, gender... Um, People define themselves. People define their own genders. Keir Starmer has said that he believes 99.9% .9 of women do not have penises. And I know it's a strange thing for him to say, but given recent events in New Zealand, I'd ask again, how do you define what a woman is? Well, as I've, I, I think as I've just indicated, I wasn't expecting that question, so it's not something that I've, um, you know, formulated, pre-formulated an answer on. But um, in terms of gender identity, I think people define their gender identity for themselves. Self-identification. Yes. What about, in, if you like, an official or a wider societal sense? Well, again, um, I think we, we have rules in place now. If someone wants to change their gender on their birth certificate, for example, there's a process that they go through in order to do that. Um, I haven't got all of the, I haven't got the process chapter and verse in front of me, but it's it's available. Anybody can look it up and see what that process is. Just one follow up: You described that you thought some of Posey Parker's views were abhorrent. Could you tell us which ones? Um, I, I think some of the. The views being conveyed um, around trans, the transgender community, some of the sentiment. Her views. Yes, so some of the sentiment that she's views. expressed towards the transgender community is abhorrent, in, in my view. Well, that they shouldn't exist.